All right, so the uh, fly that I'm going to be tying today is uh, kind of a cricket variation that I came up with. I call it the jungle cricket. Uh, so let's get started. I've got a size 7 hook on the vise. Go ahead and lay down some dark brown thread. This is uh, Uni Thread 6.0. Uh, so the next thing we're going to want to tie in is the tail. And for the tail, um, I like to go with some yellow goose by it. Go ahead and get two little sections here. Now you can definitely use uh, different material if you'd like. Uh, I think maybe even a little bit of uh, deer hair in the back uh, would work well. Uh, this is going to be a dry fly. Um, so nothing that would soak up too much water. But um, you can definitely experiment, see what you'd like on it. Go ahead and tie in one piece there okay so we got the tail tied in. I'll go ahead and snip away the excess. All right. The next thing we're going to be tying in is uh, some foam. Uh, this particular piece uh, is going to be brown foam. You can see I've kind of cut it into a little uh, triangle here. So I'm going to take the tip. I'm going to tie this in first. What I like to do is kind of as I'm working my thread back, check and make sure that I'm working it all the way to the back of where I set up that tail. Uh, next thing I want to tie in is some thread. This is some heavy duty uh, golden thread that I got uh, at a Walmart. Uh, it's the same kind of thread that you would find um, in your jeans, um, so in your pockets and things like that. Uh, so it's real nice, uh, sturdy thread, and uh, it's got a real nice color to it. So go ahead and catch that in there. And then the next thing we got here is some foam. Now this is a pretty lengthy piece of foam. I'd say it's probably about four inches long. Uh, not very wide. Um, as you can see there, it's not a very wide piece at all. Uh, so we want to go ahead and tie in that tip over here. It doesn't have to look really pretty. We're going to clean it up, so that's fine. Don't spend too much time trying to make it look real nice. All right, I'm going to wind our thread forward. We'll stop, um, let's say, maybe about a quarter, an inch or so from the eye. And then what you want to do is take your foam and you're going to wrap it around your hook. Uh, now when you're doing this you want to apply a pretty decent amount of pressure as you're wrapping. You don't want your wraps to be uh, too loose. Um, if they do they won't fold over properly. So we're going to wrap it to the front and then we're going to work our way back. And that's another reason why you want your uh, foam to be uh, not too wide because if it is too wide then it's also not going to wrap uh, properly. And on this last turn uh, you want to pull it uh, pretty hard. Make sure these last couple of wraps look good. Okay, once you get it up to the front Okay, go ahead and cut away the excess there. And then you want to clean up the head. Alright, next thing you want to do is take your thread, actually check and make sure that this is more centered on top, so you can just twist it a little. There we go. 
Now take your thread and start making some wraps. These don't have to be really tight. This is just more for looks. Uh, so just do your best to make sure that your um, segments are even. Take that over. Okay. We'll cut away the remainder of our thread here. And if you have a pretty long piece left, you can save it uh, for the next one that you tie on. And I'm going to clean up here a little bit leave ourselves some room and the next thing you want to do is take this and pull it forward here now you see I didn't cut my foam just right so I got a little straggler here but I'm just pull that out uh, you don't want to pull too tight but you don't want to let it be too loose either so just a nice snug little pull there and take that wrap and bear down with it now I'm just going to do two or three Okay next thing we're going to be tying in are the legs uh, in this case what I like to use is these uh, silly legs right here what I'll do is I'll just take one and I'll cut it in half And just hold it alongside of your cricket here. And tie it in. And we'll do the same with the other side. In this particular case, I chose green. I just like the way that it kind of contrasted with everything. Uh, it's a lime green color, then it's got some black bars um, alongside it. So I just thought it looked good. Again, you can certainly choose a different color if you'd like. Seems that one to cooperate with me too well right now. There we go. Uh, the next thing we have is some yellow uh, deer hair. I went ahead and I took a little bit, uh, cut it, put it in my stacker, and uh, this is about as much as I'm using. You can see here it's not too much. As far as the length goes. Um, I'd say about three quarters of the way up the body would be fine. And if it's a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, that's uh, that's okay too. All right, so we'll go ahead and tie this in. I'll just put one really loose wrap at first, two, and then on the third one is where we're gonna pull down. There we go. Now what I like to do at this point is kind of pull everything back. I'm going to take my thread, wind it to the front. I'm going to catch my foam there. I'm going to put two real tight wraps. And then what I'll do is I'll hop back behind it. Pull my foam back again I'll make the head there we go and then we'll hop to the front so again going from back here hop into the front and make a couple of nice tight wraps and I'll get my whip finish Okay. Um, I could certainly leave it like that if you like the legs to be a little bit longer. 
I like to trim them up, um, I'd say, a little bit longer than the body, but not quite as long as the tail. So we'll go about halfway down the tail, and we'll snip them. And we'll do the same with this side as well. Um, for this um, piece of foam here, you can certainly leave it on if you want more buoyancy. Um, but I, I went ahead and I, I cut it off, so that's what I'm going to do with this one as well. And there you have it, the completed jungle cricket. Again, this is just my variation of a uh, cricket fly. Uh, it's a dry fly. Um, so I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, I want to say thank you for watching my videos. If you like what you see, you can go ahead and subscribe, and I'll be posting some more. Uh, and um, thank you very much again, and uh, good luck out there.